I'll go ahead and do the last two. So on this one, pretty easy. A, B, C. 1 times negative 18. Uh, 7 goes here, so it has to equal 7 when we factor it. And it's all divided by 1. So those are these are the easy ones, right? Um, 18, that's 2 times 9 and 3 times 6. But to get a 7, we're going to need 2 and 9. We want a positive 7, so I make the smaller number negative, right? Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. When I add them, it's just 9 minus 2 is 7. So that's x minus 2, x plus 9 equals 0. All right? Again, you could have just graphed it, found the places where it touched the x-axis. This would have looked like this. Right here at negative 9, right here at 2. Because if I put a 2 here, that's 0. And if I put a negative 9 here, that's 0. So again, different ways you can solve it. Uh, right here, that's a 1, that's a negative 16. B equals 0. Identify all this stuff first. If you do this, you, you won't really mess up. 1 times negative 16. Divide by 1, divide by 1, right? And it has to equal B, but B is 0. So I know I need the same number twice and one positive, one negative. Well, what's the square root of 16? It's 4. 4 times 4. Make one negative and it goes away. So I have x minus 4, x plus 4. When does that equal 0? That equals 0 when x is either 4 or negative 4. And again, just to show right here at 4, and right here, oh, negative 4 and positive 4, that's where this would touch the x-axis. Right? Um, I'll do one on the other side. Or just talk you through some of them. This one's already set up. There's A, there's B, there's C. This one, I just need to move the 12 over, but this one, they kind of trick you. And I wanted to show this one because you can have 0 on the other side. It doesn't really matter. Just need to know it equals zero, right? And remember that there's no x here. So this is x squared. That's minus 16. And you have to identify that b is equal to zero because there's not an x term, right? On this one, they show you like, they're showing you different versions, right? Now this one, if I subtract the 5x from both sides and get a zero because I want the equal zero, the 5x goes in the middle. 2x squared minus 5x uh, minus 3. All right? So that's A, that's B, that's C. Making sure you get them in the right order, then you can set up the correct triangle, and you won't really mess up like that. Minus 5, 2 times negative 3. I'll work on that one because it's got the 2. Divide by 2, divide by 2. So this is negative 6, and we factor that to equal negative 5. Okay, if I want to get a 5, some people will say 2 and 3, but they can't both be negative or this would be positive. So it has to be the negative 6, positive 1. That gives me negative 6 when I multiply and negative 5 when I add. And again, now this one we're actually dividing by 2. So this is negative 3, and then a fraction. What do we do with the fractions? We said bottoms up. So this is x minus 3. And over here, the bottom came up. So it's 2x. Goes right there in front of the x. Plus 1. Okay, when does this equal 0? When x equals 3. Or when this equals 0. So again, go up here and solve it. 2x plus 1. When does that equal 0? Minus 1, minus 1. Negative 1, 2x equals negative 1. Divide by 2, divide by 2. That cancels. So x equals negative 1 half. Okay? Try the rest of those.